so <coughs> welcome back so now we will do exercise 11.1 so number one question is use euclid's division algorithm to find the hcf of the following okay so number one we will solve first number one okay the given two numbers are 135 and 225 and we will do solution here a equals to 225 and b equals to 135 always remember that the a a should be what is a a is according to a is this is dividend which is greater than divisor isn't it so always remember take always larger number as a a and b as a smaller number okay? so using euclid's division lemma according to euclid's division lemma it states a equals to b q plus r where r is greater than equals to 0 or less than b this is the applied condition okay so now divide okay now you need to divide this number by this number okay so when we divide so it will go once as you you know all this how to divide so 135 ones are 135 5 minus 5 0 12 minus 3 it is 9 and 2 1 0 means 90 okay so according to using division algorithm a what is a, a is 2 25 and what is here is equal to so b so copy b b is this is this is the b uh, sorry no b is this 135 into this is q sorry this is q q is here 1 plus remainder is 90 okay so again again so you need to what what you have to do main process is you need to keep on dividing by this this number and this number until and unless you get the remainder zero okay this is the method only okay so 135 it should be divided by 90 always a smaller number okay here now it is a and it is b okay so 90 ones are 90 5 4 okay remainder is 45 which is c what is b here remainder is greater than 0 but not equal to 0 here b b is always less than remainder or remainder is less than b c b this is b and this is remainder always less see here this is b this is remainder always less this is the u class division lemma okay so we'll go on so once again we will divide so using division algorithm what happens here is a now a is 135 equals to 90 b see see here b into q is 1 plus remainder is remainder is here 45 so now the remainder is not 0 yet so we, we need to divide further okay 135 it should be divided by 40 sorry 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 it should be by 90 this will be now a and this is will be b okay so it will be a and this is will be b now 45 90 now 45 to the 90 remainder is 0 so according to euclid's division lemma same rule dividend is 90 equals to b is 45 into q is 2 okay 2 plus remainder is 0 so this will be the hcf okay therefore hcf will be 45 usually euclid's division lemma is used for finding hcf okay highest common factor okay highest common factor i'll explain you later on what do you, what is the meaning of lcm and hcf okay, what are the differences so answer is 45 therefore hcf is 45 it is the method only okay the, the, it is the method you need to no okay so number one done okay so number two question
we move on to number two question we move on to second number so here are two numbers so we need to find hf of two numbers so before starting so here here a equals to a will be the larger number because we need to divide by smaller number so a b one nine six so we need to apply euclid's division lemma okay so using euclid's division lemma so according to Euclid's division lemma, A equals to B Q plus R where G R is greater than or equal to 0 less than B. So now we need to <coughs> divide A by, we need to divide A by B. Okay. So 3, 8, 2, 2, 0 must be divided by 1, 9, 6. Okay. So here are 3 digits. So yeah, also three digits we first attempt so one nine six one nine six so one the one nine six so six six your answer will be uh, C 12 minus 6 6 17 minus 17 minus 9 9 10 7 8 86 1 86 so 2 1 86 okay so 2 will be here will be down drop so 196 into I think 9 Nine six uh, fifty four five nine nine uh, eighty one six eighty six here it will be six nine one uh, nine seventeen one seven six four it will be four eight zero one zero eight zero it will be I think five Five six the thirty five nine the five six the thirty zero three five nine the forty five eight forty eight eight four five one the four five five one the five so five six the thirty zero three Eighteen two. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Six. It will be not like this. Um, Fifteen six. It will be nine. Zero nine eight eight zero. So five five six zero uh, thirty zero three four eight five four nine. Uh, it will be zero. Therefore, according to Euclid's division lemma, so 3, 8, 2, 2, 0 equals to B is 196. This is B, this is A, this is Q, this is R, right? So, into 195 plus 0. Therefore, HCF will be 196. So last question is number three eight six seven and two five five here a equals to eight six seven always select larger number yes, a. two five five so using Euclid's division lemma. 
according to Euclid's division lemma, it states that a equals to b q plus r where 0 is greater than equals to less than b. This is the condition, okay. So, now you need to divide a 8, 6, 7 by 2, 5, 5. I will try with 3, 3 5 are 15 go 5, 1, 3 5 are 15, 16 1, 7, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2, it is done, so it will not go, okay, so we will apply Euclid's division lemma, 8, 6, 7, so here, this is B, this is A, this is Q, this is remainder. So, 2, 5, 5 into Q is 3 plus R is 1, 0, 2. Now, it will be A and it will be B. Again, dividing, okay. So, 2, 5, 5 divided by 1, 0, 2. You will get 1, 0, 2, 2, 4, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 4. Sorry, 151. So, still, this is B, this is A, this is Q, this is R. Okay. So, again, using Euclid's division lemma, what happens? 2, 5, 5. Here is A equals to B is 102. 102 into Q is 2 plus remainder is 20. Sorry. What is 51? Remainder is 51. Is 51. So now this will be A in next case. Okay, this will be B. I mean to say you must divide 102 by this number. So 102 by 51. 51 to the 2 to the 2 1 the 2 2 5 the 10. So, remainder is 0. Now, what is the LCM using new class division lemma? What happens? 102 equals to 51. This is this is A, this is B, this is Q, this is R into Q is 2 plus remainder is 0. This will be the HCF. Therefore, HCF will be 51. The answer is done. Okay. Usually, the question will not come from this chapter. Okay. But you need to know it is a concept of building, so you need to learn this chapter well. The question will be off from this chapter, I think, for three, four marks. Okay, not more, much more than that. Number two question so that any positive odd in the integer is in the form of 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5, where q is some integer. So that any okay, so number two questions will solve. Number two, what the question is asking? So that any positive odd integer is in the form of okay. So we'll give you some integer. So we will suppose okay. Let A B any positive odd odd integer. Positive odd integer. So let us assume okay. According to question, positive odd integer. The question is asking for odd po positive integer so let us suppose a be the positive odd integer so and b equals to say 6 okay 
six. No, okay, it will be six. So using Euclid's division lemma. According to Euclid's division lemma, what he says a equals to what the statement says a equals to b cube plus r there is a rule r is greater than equals to but less than b okay. so what i have assumed by looking the question what the question is saying to prove 6 cube plus 1 from that we will predict what should be the b okay so that's why what we can write a equals to b means 6 q plus r where 0 greater than r less than 6 b should be now 6 because i have assumed b is 6 okay so now what happens it, it this means r should be what can i have the value of r it should be greater than zero okay or equal to zero it the r can be zero or greater than zero but it should be less than six this implies a equals to six q plus zero or a equals to six q i can write by this condition okay so i can another i also i can write that a equals to 6 q plus 1 because r is from 0 greater than 0 0 to 5 means i can write this or i can write like this a equals to 6 q plus 2 because here is the condition or a equals to 6 q plus 3 or a equals to 6 q plus 4 or a equals to 6 q plus 5 but i cannot write the value of r 6 because this implies the value of r should be less than okay should be less than 6 because why i took the value of r 0 because here is the sign of equality it is if it would have been like this only then i would never take 0 because this this will not allow because r should not be 0 because there is an equality sign there then only i can take the zero otherwise i cannot take the that value okay so here are the one two three four five six six set okay so for some for some integers q for some integer Q. Q means integer 0, 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, dot dot dot, okay, for some integer, Q, Q is some integer, so, but, what you found that, according to question, what the question is asking, positive odd integer, so, you cannot have this because this is positive even integer why because when you put a equals to 6 q is some integer you can take any one value 1 6 1 the 6 6 is even so but a equals to 6 q comma and if you take this number okay if you take this number 6 into 1 plus 2 what will be the answer 6 plus 2 is 8 this is what is this this is a equals to 6 q plus 2 this is positive even integer so it cannot be this will be not allowed and this one a and a equals to 6 q plus 4 r r even r even positive integer 
integers so this i cannot choose this because they are even the question is asking even sorry odd positive integers so see here this this and this see when we put q equals to 1 what happens 6 into 1 plus 1 what will be 6 1 is 6 plus 1 it will be 7 this is positive odd integer therefore so so a equals to 6 q plus 1 a equals to 6q plus 3. Similarly, here, if you put 1, 6 into 1 plus 3, what will be the answer? 6 into 6, 6 plus 3 will be 9. It is odd positive integer. Okay? This end, A equals to 6q plus 5 is a, is a odd positive integers. Okay, these are the odd positive integers. Therefore, 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 the answer will be therefore any therefore the therefore any positive in odd integer odd integer is in the form form of 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 for q is a sum integer this will be the solution of this question okay so number 2 is done and number 3 okay? let's move in number 3 access so copy all so what whatever i say you need you must you need to understand the concept okay no need to worry about steps the steps depends on every individual okay so they can write whatever but the concept should be clear then the you will be able to understand so next question number three an army contingent of 616 member is to march behind an army band of 32 member in the Pareto group of march number three what the question is saying in number three okay army contingent okay army contingent 616 member 616 member okay there are army contingent 616 members Army band of 32 members in parade. Two group are to merge in the column. Okay, there are 32 member. Okay, band member. Okay. So what is the maximum? Okay, your what the question is asking? It is asking HCF highest common factor means what is the maximum number of line they can march? They are saying okay. There are 32 members say like it can be column in column means like column okay so it can be the member can be in one two three four four or five six seven any number okay these members should march in 32 members okay exactly means what is the highest or maximum column of the line indirectly the question is asking about the hcf of this two number okay two number hcf so they can match and they can form highest common factor common actually okay? so here i'll write a equals to always bigger number six one six i will explain you the meaning of hcf and lcm later on okay b equals to 32 so using we know the we can do using any method but it is simple to use euclid's division lemma okay so it is in your textbook also so use always use euclid's division lemma it will be better using euclid's 
डिविजन लेमा लेमा ओके सो व्हाट द यू क्लास डिविजन लेमा स्टेट्स ए इक्वल्स टू बी क्यू प्लस आर जीरो ग्रेटर देन आर लेस देन बी सो नाउ डिवाइडिंग सिक्स वन सिक्स बाय थर्टी टू आई विल टारगेट दिस इट विल नॉट गो ट्वाइस इट विल बी सिंगल थ्री मींस व्हेन इट विल बी माइनस Nine two twenty nine six twenty five zero forty. Remainder is forty. It is not equal to zero. Means here is a. This is b. This is q. And this is remainder. Using U class division lemma, E is this six one six now. Is B means thirty two into eighteen plus forty remainder is still remainder is not zero. So again we must apply U class division lemma. Okay, means you need to oh, sorry sorry. Oh, it will not go like this. It is mistake, 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 mistake. It will be by nine. It will go by nine. Nine, nine, two the eighteen eight. Six, two. No, thus. Ninety six, nine, It will be eight zero. Means again, you 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 need to apply Euclid's division lemma. Six equals to thirty two into nineteen plus eight. This will be a. This will be b. Eight for the thirty two and remainder is zero. So using Euclid's division lemma, what? U plus division lemma says thirty two. This will be A. This will be B. This will be Q. This will be R. R. This means eight into four plus zero. Then this is the HCF. Okay. Therefore, therefore HCF is therefore HCF is therefore HCF is eight. Since since HCF is So H C F is eight. This means means the maximum number of matching column is eight. Means the maximum number they can merge in thirty two members. Beside the thirty two members of six one six member can merge in eight columns. So okay? therefore the maxi Mum, column is eight. Answer is this. Okay, so question number four. So you using you class division lemma. So the square of any positive integer is either in the form of the. So here is the question. So same. It is similar to question number two. Okay, so number four, number five. Number four. Let A be any. What the question is asking? Let A be 
any positive integer okay the question is not saying or even or nothing okay it is saying only positive means let a be any positive 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 integer so by looking at the question what should be the value of b it should be 3 okay and b equals to 3 okay? so using euclides division lemma what the euclides division lemma states that a equals to b q plus r where 0 less than b so a is i don't know b is 3 q plus r according to same same condition r is greater than r 0 but less than b is we have taken 3 okay so same condition will apply apply okay or a equals to 3 q only positive plus 0 or a equals to 3 q this can be because the question is saying positive integer only okay or a can be 3 q plus 1 or a equals to 3 q plus 2 but it cannot be 3 because it should be less than 3 3 is not the value we will not we are not allowed to use the value of 3 so what the question is saying is square we need to square all these terms okay we need to square these terms and we'll get the answer okay. now now taking square both side both side now we will take the square both side okay so so here is the a equals to 3 q so we will square this both side squaring what will be the answer this will be a square and 3 square is 9 q square is q square so we can write 3 as a common 3 into 3 3 9 q square say this say m m equals to 3 q square okay m is some integer m is some integer because when you place the value of q equals to 1 then what will get the m value of m if okay for simplicity when we place the value of q q as a 1 then we'll get 3 1 square which is 3 1 1 square 1 into 1 3 1 3 1 3 3 this means the value of m is 3 which is integer simple q1 is also integer this is also integer no matter i will do okay so 1 square of any positive integer is 3m one part is proven and second part away okay? so what the second part is saying so in second part a equals to 3q plus 1 so we need to square both side because the question is asking about the square you need to square there is one term left i think no need to do that because we need only two terms we need only two terms to explain or proof a square here the formula will be a plus b whole square the formula we will use a plus b whole square means a square plus 2 a b plus b square formula everyone knows so here is a and here is b a square means 3 q square plus 2 2 is from formula a is 3 q plus that b is 1 plus 1 square so 3 square will be 9 q square will be q square plus 2 3 is a 6 q into 1 6 q only plus 1 
So we can take 3 as a common 3, 3 into 3, 9 q square, 3 into 3, 9 into q square, q square plus 3 into 2, 6 into q, 2, 3 in, 2 into, sorry, 3 into 2 q equal to b will be 6 q plus 1. I will say this as a m. We can take, we can assume this m because q is nothing integer sum of any integer square of any integer will be integer so that's why i can write a square as a 3m plus 1 this is m okay all terms is m so m is some is some integer integers done so last at last we we must write the square there right answer the square of any positive integer is is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m full stop so this is the final answer see square of any positive integer will be in, in the form of 3m square of any positive integer in 3m plus 1 in this way we will solve last one number 5 of exercise 11 1.1 1 .1, sorry so number 5 here you using u plus division lemma so that cube of now we need to do cube away okay? so we will be in form like that same same approach let a b any positive integers and b equals to what will be the value of b now some might have been thinking that the value of b should be 9 so we can take the value of b as a 9 but it will be very lengthy okay it will be very lengthy so in order to avoid that we can take 3 okay we can take 9 also but we can for simplicity we will take 3 okay b why i will explain you later so using euclid's division lemma so according to euclid's division lemma it states that a equals to b q plus r 0 greater than r less than b so what i have chosen b equals to 3 q plus r 0 greater than r it should be less than 3 okay or i will put the value of r up to 3 okay a equals to 3 up to 2 plus 0 or 3q only okay any 3q plus 0 it will be 3q okay or a equals to 3q plus 1 or a equals to 3q plus 2 okay? so what the question is asking it uh, to take cube okay okay taking cube both side taking cube both side taking cube both side so taking cube both side what will be the answer okay so taking cube for a square a sorry a cube equals to 3q cube 3q cube will be 3 3 into 3 3 times 27q cube or 3 into 9q cube will say 3 m okay or 3 m for some integer m now second part a equals to 3 q plus 1 you can do cube okay we'll do cube of each what happens a cube there is a formula a plus b whole cube will be a cube plus 
थ्री ए बी प्लस थ्री ए बी इफ यू पुट हेयर टू विल पुट हेयर टू प्लस बी क्यूब सो ए क्यूब मीन्स थ्री क्यू क्यूब प्लस थ्री ए मीन्स थ्री क्यू दिस इज ए दिस इज बी ए स्क्वायर बी मीन्स वन प्लस थ्री ए ए मीन्स थ्री क्यू b means 1 square plus 1 cube so 27 cube cube plus 3 into 3 square 9 cube square plus 3 3 ja 9 cube plus 1 so we can take common 3 9 q cube plus 9 q square because 3 is out plus 3 3 3 into 3 9 q plus 1 this can be written as m because it is a integer so it will be 3 m plus 1 so any cube of any positive integer will be written in the form of 3 m or 3 m plus 1 or we need to prove n so one also okay last one so here a equals to 3 q plus 2 so cubing both side what will be the formula will be the same okay so the formula will be same a cube equals to 3 q cube plus 3 3 q square 2 plus 3 3 q 2 square plus 2 cube, right? 9 sorry 27 q cube plus 6 6 Three to the six nine q square plus will get three q will be twenty seven. Okay, three into three into three means twenty seven q cube plus I'll do like this three to equals to six three to six three nine q square done plus three three nine q. Two into two, four. Four nines are thirty-six. It will be thirty-six. Okay, four nines are it will be thirty-six. And plus eight. Okay, let's solve for the twenty-seven q cube plus six nines are fifty-four q square plus thirty-six nine four is thirty-six q plus eight. We'll take out three as a common. Three nines are twenty-seven q cube plus Three, three hundred three, three eight is a twenty-four q square plus three hundred three, three two is a six q plus eight, or we can write this as a m three m plus eight, where m is some integer. So you you may write the cube of any positive integer is of the form nine m comma 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 so thank you all and we'll see you on next lecture the fundamental theorem of arithmetic okay thank you all